Guys, welcome to Simple Crypto. Uh, this is just a quick one today. We need to talk about the overall market situation and why we could see a really, really big dump happening. I warned you several times already that I see that coming. It's not, it, it hasn't happened yet. And we are still sitting on this trend line here from the upside move. However, we see Bitcoin is losing strength. We are losing strength when we come, uh, when we when we think uh, pushing to the upside. We are losing strength. We saw the volume overall declining here over the last uh, week or two weeks or so. This resulted in this uh, strange drop here and this sideways movement, very very slowly sideways movement. Um, no no push to the upside so yeah as you see here uh we're still holding this line and we are about to break it and this is why it's urgent to watch this so if you haven't seen what's happened yet uh watch this video to the end and i will show you exactly exactly uh what this all means for the bitcoin price right now at this moment <music> So um, Jerome Paul, he from the from the Federal Reserve, uh, Papa Paul, or uh, how different people call him doesn't matter. Uh, Jerome Paul from the Federal Reserve, he said that there is historic record cautious strongly against prematurely loosening policy, and this means that uh, the Fed will not loosen the monetary policy right now. We will stay the course until the job is done. Uh, this means the Fed is very, very convinced that it's not done at this point. They don't know. They even don't know when it will be done, but they say the job is not done. Uh, this means for us, for the whole market, that we will see as we expected already if you watched my last video you have seen that uh, we expected already that the rate hike will go on and that there will be even higher interest rate rates in the future because inflation seems to be coming subtle, subtly but it seems to be coming back he even spoke about crypto he said that we want regulation to stifle innovation uh, on the other hand we see fraud, we see lack of transparency, and we see run risk. So he says, okay, we don't want that uh, to, to regulate it to, to die, basically, but we need to regulate it anyways. And uh, this means that he also appreciates more regulation. He kind of says uh, to the SEC in America, he says to them, hey, please regulate that crap even more. Uh, which is another sign for crypto that we could see uh, more downside in the future. Over time, we can achieve the 2% inflation and we will. And, and, and this is uh, what you need to read in these announcements. You need to read that they are very, very precise that they will reach this 2% again. I mean, obviously, he's the spokesman there. He needs to... Um, also play his marketing cards, right? He needs to tell to the population, to the consumer, we go back to this inflation goal. So uh, this is also marketing. Never forget that everything they say is always also marketing towards a certain audience. And in this case, it's uh, the inflation target that they promote here, that they will reach again, they promote trust in the Federal Reserve that they will reach it and they will. And that means more interest rate hikes. It means uh, they will rate hike so slightly below a market crash. So they will rate hike as much as they can without causing a crash from their side. However, the overall situation in the world still says that there could be a massive, massive dump on all markets. Um, 
not because of the Federal Reserve. Like it's not even in control of them at this point anymore. And uh, yeah, this is this is very interesting. But let's move on and look into the Bitcoin charts. And uh, as you see here, Bitcoin slightly uh, at this as this announcement happened, Bitcoin dipped below this trend line for a short moment. And we saw that it was bought up. It was bought up and now it's struggling again. It's struggling again in this area. It's very, very unsure like if we can hold it. Um, the low volume that we saw recently, the, the decreasing volume, it makes it possible that big buyers can push the price up or down at any moment. So if a huge whale comes and decides to buy, they could probably start they could start they couldn't push it up here but they can start the upwards movement and then the upwards movements uh is is starting more and more are buying and it can go all the way up here again uh so one possible scenario definitely we still need to see this is going up here again having a double top basically on the short term and going down all the way here um, in this area, which is my my buying area. It, it could also drop slower. Maybe it drops like uh, somewhere here, but it will go again towards this trend line from the big, big uh, declining trend that we saw here earlier from oh shit. What am I doing uh, from the old uh, downtrend here that we broke? So confirming the bull run would mean dropping here and confirming it. And then from there, we can shoot to the upside. That would be the confirmation of the bull market. On the other hand, uh, people are calling new lows. They're calling that we go down here all the way. Uh, could happen later this year. Maybe we still stay above this, this trend line here. Uh, and and just slowly, slowly go down all the way to like 13 k uh, could happen in, in late summer here, actually. Uh, why? Why could it happen in late summer? Uh, because if world economy goes on like it does right now, and there are a lot of pessimistic news coming out, uh, economies uh, all over the globe are struggling, struggling to grow. We see recessions in many countries and this uh, this death spiral of uh, bad news and uh, bad market situations uh, overall in, in stocks, in real estate whatsoever uh, means that there is less money. Inflation is high. Uh, people need to spend more of the money that they earn. So there's even less money. And then over the year, we could see a really, really dark year this year to go even further down after uh, 2022. Um, but for now, I still think that uh, after this downwards movement here, we could see a potential relief rally uh, from from this this uh, levels here. So let's say until now, I'm still bullish for crypto. I still believe that uh, the November lows were the lows for this uh, cycle. And uh, from this area, we could go up again. Uh, let's look at uh, our favorite uh, other things like stocks. Uh, you see the same here in stocks. So stocks are still above the trend line. They broke the trend line here in uh, January. And uh, now we have the SPX, the S&P 500. We have it uh, still above it. But that doesn't mean that we cannot uh, drop below it again and drop lower like we did. Uh, I showed it to you in the last video as we did in the dot-com crash. I think this is the 2008 crash. Uh, we also moved the Buffett here quickly, but uh, I think the dot-com crash is even more significant. It's when everyone believed like this was the moment we went above this 200 moving average on the daily. We went above it. We uh, shoot to the moon. Now we go up to the to the high again. And that was the moment when the sell-off started. So uh, nothing is guaranteed here as well. 
and the bad economic situation could cause a dump, even though it looks it looks quite promising right now. I mean, th this is something we have to see. It looks quite promising, but we have um, other other things. Let's uh, let me click that here. Um, U.S. monetary too. It's it's here the money, monetary policy. We see that the, the money supply is declining um, overall. So that that's actually bullish for the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar is gaining strength. Uh, we can check this here on the Dixie, the famous Dixie chart that all the YouTubers and all the like crypto analysts are also watching carefully. And we're again at this trend line and we're above it again. We need to watch this 105 level. I think uh, if we can break this to the upside and it looks very much like we do, then we have another US dollar bull run uh, going to these highs again. Uh, means that uh, other currency is going to go down in value compared to the US dollar. And it also means that uh, crypto stocks, everything is falling because this one underlying variable is increasing. And as long as the dollar is getting stronger, uh, which the Fed now announced today, they said the dollar will be stronger and stronger until the job is done. That means inflation comes down. Uh, th this, this means I don't see anything going in the other direction for the overall market situation at the moment. As bullish as the SPX might look here to, to, to go up again, the overall global economic situation looks bearish. Uh, this is why um, I'm, I'm short-term bear on crypto and long-term bull. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. You never know. But uh, one message again in this video, uh, this is not financial advice. And if I'm wrong, I hope this video was at least entertaining for you. And uh, this being said, until next time, I wish you all the best. Your Alex.